it's really not something you learn drivers at. No. It takes a lot of practice to perfect steering and docking some of the most massive ships around the world. It's a really fascinating yeah. story. How do you safely go through the training needed to then become an expert? WBZ's Bill Shields shows us tonight. On the outside is just another nice looking building at Mass Maritime Academy. But inside, tractor tug, tug one and tug two. they can make you believe you're on the ocean. Currently, we're, we're westbound. We've just uh, passed under the Bourne Bridge, and we're approaching Massachusetts Maritime Academy. This is a simulator, and it's like a huge video game, only this is no game. These two instructors are virtually bringing a 540-foot ship to the dock at Mass Maritime. Uh, tug one to the port bow, please. Tug two to the uh, port quarter. Thank you. This is the bridge of the ship, which is moving through the Cape Cod Canal. And cadets using the simulator are surrounded by virtual reality. The ability to simulate any scenario and any weather condition on any type of ship in, in various ports around the world is um, it's priceless. Captain Mike Burns is an instructor at Mass Maritime, but today he's acting as the local pilot who helps the ship's captain dock the vessel. Our engines are stopped, but we're just drifting ahead slowly. We're allowing the ship to carry its momentum forward. This is when you earn your money in the last 100 feet to the pier. This is as real as it gets without being on the ocean. So this is about as hands-on as you can get for a big ship. And all of this technology is not just for the cadets here. Professional mariners from around the United States are going to be using this equipment. In Buzzers Bay at Mass Maritime, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Yeah.